Hi, James. Um, I'm Sam for Elite Maya Therapy, and um, we're here today with James. Thank you so much for giving us your time um, to come and talk to us about um, your life as an athlete, mm -hmm. as a coach, and as a businessman and a family man. And a human. And a human. <laughs> yes. Um, and um, yeah, so we probably met over 15 years ago. Um, where else treated you? You did. Yeah. Uh, we met at the Essendon Football Club 15, or at least 15 years ago when I was playing at Essendon and you came along to uh, treat several of the players, me being one of them. Yeah. And uh, it's been a, a long journey with the two of us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and seeing each other go in different directions. So yeah, wonderful yeah. time. Um, and James, um, Obviously, um, as a athlete, um, you, you obviously used myotherapy um, to help you through. Um, so, could you mind just explaining how you used myotherapy in your career, or what what benefits and yeah? Yeah, a number of ways. I mean, firstly, uh, interesting the cycle of an athlete through a week or a footballer. You play on a Saturday and very sore early on the week, and, and the myotherapy early in the week was all about trying to reduce that soreness and work out which yeah. part of your body needed. Uh, Needed work, and mm -hmm. initially we just called it massage or, or a rub down. Yeah, so we yeah. get a rub down, <laughs> and then it went from a rub down to to masseurs, and then the myotherapist came in, and um, you being one of the first myotherapists to come in. But so the whole industry yeah. has changed, mm -hmm. but the, the the treatment on the body definitely early in the week, and then I always tried to get two sessions um, with yourself or, or yeah. whoever was at the club. Yeah. And come into your uh, into your practice because I just found that the first session was really cleaning the body out and getting yep. rid of a lot yep. of the toxins and the soreness, and the, and the second body was more preparing. Second session was preparing the body for yep. for for um for elite performance. So I'm definitely one that was a big big um, tick for for my therapy. Yep. And the other thing that you did for me was after my um, big accident with uh, where I sort of fractured my face yeah. and had 13 or 14 metal plates put in my face, um, I was getting a lot of uh, referred pain in my teeth yeah. and thought yeah. that I was going to have to have them taken out. But you discovered that it was all coming from my face and uh, within, well, within, I... a, within an hour, <laughs> you changed pain that I hadn't been able to get rid of for, for, um, for a couple of years. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big advocate of myotherapy. Thank you. So going back to that particular incident, because mm. um, um, there's a lot of people out there that, that have a lot of pain and um, probably um, you were at that point where I think it was that day or the next day you were going to have that tooth removed. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So it was acute nerve pain, really. And yep. It was being referred from somewhere in my brain where the plates were just, they, they were sitting fine, but they were causing me heaps of problems. And I'd been yep. to see the dentist and he yep. couldn't find any problems with the teeth. And mm -hmm. so we'd resolved to have the tooth out in a couple yep. of days. and. And I spoke to you and came in here, and the pain miraculously removed. Yeah. Now I know it's not, yeah. it's not magic. It's not. Um, it's not, it's not magic. Not there's everything. The, the, uh, the, there's science behind it. Mm. Um, but I, I suppose for me, a lot of people when they have pain just freak, and 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 go from zero to the worst outcome. Mm. Um, and it's often really important to understand that the body. Um, there's reasons for everything, yeah. um, and um, and that particular uh, for people that treat the jaw well, yeah. um, that's a referral position, a spot for the uh, for that particular tooth that was hurting. Yeah. So um, I think on that day, I remember it quite clearly. Clearly, I um, you you said to me. Um, I've come in here for my hamstrings and now you're <laughs> doing something in my mouth. How's that um, going to work? So. That to me is, um, you know, just a little for any myotherapists or other therapists listening to this or any customers have, uh, that, that have got pain out there, ask the question, mm. seek some advice before going to that last resort because there is generally uh, a reason. Well, it's always a bit frustrating coming in here because I come in here and say I've got a sore knee and you end up working <laughs> on my, my lat, yeah. uh, which gets rid of my knee pain. I can't quite work it out, but there's obviously a science to it.